Hello guys and thank you for joining me on my latest adventure. Starting this one in a car because I'm in the UK. Um, I really wanted to explore more of the UK for so many reasons. Obviously we have travel restrictions right now because of COVID, understandably. Um, but also I wanted to be a little bit more sustainable in my travel as best as I could and you know start to really discover more places here in the UK. So today along with my friend Inga who's just getting her bits into my car I am going to go to Wales. We're going to go to Snowdonia National Park which is super exciting um, and I'm in my zip car if you watch my last UK vlog when I went to Sandbanks I talk all about zip car it's amazing um, definitely awesome when it comes to sustainability as well because I live in London I don't need a car um, most days so it's good to just hire this one as and when I want it and yeah you just download an app you open the car with your phone and off you go so yeah we're off to Wales oh I love that she's got a ski jacket with her <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a little bit cold, I think. But yeah, it's going to be quite a short vlog, this one. Because we're literally driving there, staying two nights and climbing the mountain. But I um, thought I'd take you along with me all the same. Good morning. So we are now in Wales. It was a five hour um, drive up in the zip car from London, but it flew by. Um, two girls in a car. It felt like 20 minutes to be honest. We stopped off a few times obviously at the services and now we're in Wales. I'm super excited to be here. I'm actually half Welsh. I don't know anything about that side of my family. Um, it's my dad's side. I don't know him, but I just know I'm half Welsh. It's pretty cool to be here. I've only ever been to Wales once for like a cheerleading competition years ago, um, but it is looking nice and dry outside perfect day for climbing not too hot maybe a little bit cold at the top but um yeah we're both super excited um i'm here with inga she's working as always at the moment and we're staying at ty and ross hotel so this is our little view um car park cute sweet little very you know country room and just without all of our stuff everywhere to be honest so hiking boots for today, packing up my rucksack. I have got with me a nice reusable water bottle. Um, this is in a way that day one. I think it's super, super sweet. I've got some protein bars with us and I've got my trusty GoPro as well. I'm gonna film the whole rest of this vlog on the GoPro because it's just easier for carrying. Um, but we have decided to do the pig trail. So there's six different trails when it comes to climbing Mount Snowdon. And um, we've gone for the pig trail because it's a perfect mix of like the odd bit is a bit difficult but most of it's easy as with most of the hikes. I think there's only one hike actually where you have to be a seasoned hiker um, but most of them are, are pretty easy um, to climb up. But yeah we're super excited. We're not leaving too early because it's a nice long day today and we just didn't want to you know be there with the rush of people because a lot of people go super early so they can spend more time on the mountain. Um, but we're both quite fit so we're, we're hoping to be up and down quicker than your average. <laughs> Let's see. So I am ready, layered up. I have got just a long sleeve top on, some Nike training leggings, uh, my Berghouse boots. These are my walking boots. I've had them for years. They're literally like my favorite thing ever. I feel indestructible when I've got them on. They've been everywhere with me. Um, these, these bad boys have gone through the Amazon river. They've literally gone up every single hike I've ever done. I think they're the best. I'm going to try and find a link for them actually and put them in the description box down below. They were super affordable and yeah, they're probably my favorite pair of shoes, which is ridiculous. I know, but I'm wearing those. So I'm going to be indestructible. Um, and then I've got a little plaid shirt on just cause I like the pop of color, but also it's a really nice thick warm cozy shirt and then I have a Patagonia fleece um, Patagonia is very much a brand that does what it says it you know it will and it does keep you super nice and warm so I've got that on which I can obviously zip up when we get further up the mountain because it's going to get progressively colder and then I have got a brand new Patagonia rain jacket this is their newest one that they do so it's the three layer um, so I'm interested to see how nice and warm and dry this keeps me should it rain up top. And then I've got my beanie with me as well because even if it's sunny at the bottom, which it is outside right now and relatively warm, of course, when you get up to the top, it's gonna be freezing.
was one of the main reasons we decided to do the pig trail because it's one of the most scenic views and you walk past or above so many pretty lakes. It is one of the more harder uh, treks here on Mount Snowden. None of the treks are particularly difficult if you're an actual hiker, but if you're a novice, um, it's probably not advised to do the pig trail. Um, just because you have to be a bit confident with the rocks that you're climbing and it is more of a climb rather than a walk along roads like this, for instance, as you probably saw as we were walking up. I didn't for safety video too much because we were physically, you know, climbing, using all four points of contact to be safe, but this was the reason I wanted to do this trail and apparently the further up you go, the more lakes that you see. So onwards and upwards. Okay, I can video a bit more now that it's safer. But yeah, oh, wow, oh my goodness. See, this is just amazing. So pretty. And there's actually a trail that walks along the lake that you can see down there. It's the most amazing weather for a hike because it's sunny enough that everything looks really pretty, but it's not too hot. It's windy enough that <laughs> under all of these layers, um, we're kept nice and cool, but it's not too cold that either of us are freezing. Um, so yeah, but they do say that you can have all four seasons on Mount Snowden, so you can have, you know, spring, summer, autumn, winter. And it was super, super cold when we started the walk, and now I feel like it's 20 degrees, and then obviously it's gonna get colder as we reach the top, but this is just amazing. Like, we're not even an hour in, and I'd highly recommend this hike already. This is gorgeous. So this bit is a little tight. <laughs> we had a bit of a traffic jam midway. Oh, we are so close. And the sun's come out for us to reach the top. We're gonna go all the way over there. <laughs> I've literally just come down from the very top. Oh <laughs> <That's the sheep. laughs> Okay, so now you join the queue because of course everyone at the top wants a picture to congratulate them for their hard work, ourselves included. So we'll just wait. This is the bit that we appreciate the layering and the hats because this is the bit that's cold because obviously you're the highest up and you are just stood waiting in the queue to get the pic. In hindsight, we probably should have just climbed up and you know given ourselves a pat on the back, but we're here now, so we are going to get that pic. So. That's the summit, we made it to the top. Um, just walking away, because obviously everyone's queuing to take pictures, so I didn't video when I was up there. We just got our snap. But just to show you, yeah, you basically stand there. It's an insane view. But yeah, we just wanted to be, you know, polite to everyone and not stand there and take a video for 20 minutes. But I'll insert the picture now, because it was amazing. It's cold. <laughs> I know. It is definitely cold. We just did the coolest little video. It's one of those like TikTok styles where you would like grab and drop. And if I can, I'll put it on here. If not, it's on my Instagram. But it, we were like killing ourselves laughing over it. But yeah, it's now time to walk down. We're going to walk down a different track. We are going to do the Miners Trail on the way down, which is a bit easier, I think. But also, it just like varies up what we see. There's no point doing the same track down as there. So, yes. <laughs> I say we're walking, we're running because we need to get our temperature back up. Change of plans. We thought we were doing the minor walk, but we've just passed a sign that said it's the ranger walk. So, I mean, we're in it. We're off. So, yeah, we're just uh, jogging the ranger walk, apparently. So on the ranger track, there is a cafe. So we just got some uh, veggie cup of soups, which I mean, is literally the best thing ever right now. You think, oh, we'll grab a cup of tea, cup of soup um, and some sugar to get us down. The ranger track is so much easier so far. I mean, we don't know the full of it, um, but at the moment it's just like a country walk. So it's completely different. It's nice to see both sides, but um, I'm glad that we did the other one on the way up because we saw more um, in terms of, you know, unique, 
countryside and you know the welsh lakes and all of the uh, peaks of the mountains and all that kind of stuff whereas this side is a little bit more kind of farmland styly but it's nice that we've done both but um yeah definitely prefer the pig over this one so far but we're only about 20 minutes in so we'll see Okay, so we've just come out of what we thought was the ranger's path there and it says that it's the land bearer's path. So, I mean, I'm sorry, we can't keep up. Literally every road, <laughs> we just like followed the vibe of it. We didn't really follow any signs, but the only sign that we did see was the one that said ranger's path right at the top where the train track was. So we just assumed we were on the ranger's path, but we weren't. We were on the land bearer's path, which is known as the easiest path and it was super easy. It was just a country walk which was really lovely after our big hike up um, and now we are heading down to try and grab a taxi. We got a taxi from the hotel because we came out quite late and we knew the car parks would be all full but now I think we're going to struggle to get one back but no worries because we have this beautiful lake ahead of us which you'll probably see just behind those trees there. <laughs> so we'll find a nice little spot and uh, sit and wait for our chariot to take us back to the hotel it's not a bad view to be sitting and waiting with so we're back at the hotel now we have got ourselves some wine well done us um some little bar snacks as well and we've ordered a pizza our friend is coming um who actually lives close to where we are right now in wales um so yeah we're gonna have a little girly night in and um, I won't vlog that because it's just going to be us sat here eating pizza and snacks and whatnot. But we will uh, be heading back into the town tomorrow. So from here on out, we're super happy, super proud of ourselves that we climbed a mountain today. And um, yeah, cheers to that. We are checking out of our hotel today and driving back to London, of course. But before we do like the monster drive, we're just going to head back to that cute little lake town that we saw. I will find out the name of it for you and write the name on the screen right now but we just thought it was super cute it's a lovely day today and we just wanted to make a weekend of it rather than just one day so yeah we're gonna go to the lake maybe grab a bite to eat and then um, head home in our zip mobile Well, this is the lake that we keep talking about. So pretty. Obviously, there's so many lakes around here, but this is at the bottom of the Lambareth Path. And every time we drove past it, we were like, we want to go and look at it. And it's so pretty and fresh and amazing. Like, even the air just feels fresh <sighs> in the mountains. It's gorgeous. You can actually hire a kayak here, or you can hire paddle boards, or you can do any sort of water sports, but there's only one company um, that does it on this particular lake. And unfortunately, they were booked out today. Otherwise, we would have absolutely got on a kayak. It feels like I'm in like Western Canada or somewhere. It's absolutely beautiful. Wow, I mean, you could come all the way here just for this lake, in fact, it's so pretty. So yeah, we're just gonna have a little wander, a little stroll, enjoy it, lap up that fresh mountain air before we uh, head back to London, really. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, actually. Thank you so much for joining me, and um, if you like this video, give it a like, um, and subscribe if you wanna see more like this, but thank you for joining me on this little staycation here in Wales. Um, I will see you soon on my next one.